Okay, so just going to show you how to change the flywheel key on here. Um, already had it apart and took the old one out. It's in two pieces. So you're kind of cheating here. Uh, the flywheel was quite seized. Had to use a bit of heat and uh, penetrating fluid to get it off, but got it off in the end. Uh, but yeah, I'll just show you how to do it. So first of all, we'll take the this assembly off, and uh, there's one bolt here, one here, and one here at the back, and that will just all come off. Um, so that's the first thing. The size I think is 7 sixteenths, but we'll see. Might be 3 eighths. Yeah, 3 eighths. Also there's two things that um, bolt in to these two here too, so take note of that. So now we take the spark plug out, that is Three sixteenth size. And uh, we're going to lock up the cylinder here. We just put some rope in there, down the spark plug hole, push it in a bit. And then when we turn this flywheel, it'll lock up after a while. There we go. And then to take the nut off here, it's a 5, uh, 15, 16 size. And uh, got to get the right adapter first. There we go. Had that torque to about 40 foot pounds before, so yeah, take that off. And now um, you can see where the flywheel key goes. And uh, this might give you a clue on whether it's a uh, uh, failed or not, if, the, if it's not lined up correctly, I'll show you. Zoom right in. So, yeah, um, if this, I think it's called the keyway, isn't lined up with this part here, then probably your flywheel key is bad. Um, So that hole there with this groove here where the key is supposed to sit, it's kind of hard to see on camera, should be lined up. Uh, so yeah. It's 
So to take the flywheel off, I use a two-jaw puller. Um, but also you can get a tool from Briggs and Stratton, and you put two bolts in here on the flywheel, and I think you might have to tap threads in there, and then you use that as the puller. Um, probably the best way to do it, I guess. But how I do it is with my two-jaw puller, and I just put it on here. It does take a bit to pop it off sometimes. But like I said last time I had to use some heat. Uh, heat and some penetrating fluid in there. But yeah, so 16 millimeters. And just tighten this up. Should come off pretty easy this time. There we go, broke free already, so that's off. And uh, yeah, pretty much there. So that's the old one there. Uh, where is the other part of it? It's pretty much split in half. the second part, I don't know. See, um, put that in the groove there, the flywheel key, and then slide this over. It's supposed to go down more. There we go. Let's lined up and push right down. With the shroud, uh, whatever this is called. Then the nut. And this here I'm talking to like 40 foot pounds. I'm not sure the correct amount, but first we've got to lock it up again because we're turning it the other way now. So I'll put my torque wrench on. about 50 foot pounds um, 
the best thing to do though is check look up online for your model and uh, see if that's correct but for this here I'm just gonna pull out that rope and then put the spark plug in tighten that a wee bit not, not too much, just snug, really there we go put that on and then just gotta put our top thing back on with the pull start shroud, I think they call it and yeah, just put those bolts on I guess and then that's it really just make sure you put these things up here too these things down the side but yeah, that's it right, let's see if it'll start